Making It Work is brought to you by Lingoda. Join their language learning super sprint program and get up to 100% cash back. When most of us think of investing, we obviously think about money first and foremost. Contributing to your retirement account should definitely be a top priority, and responsible investing opens up so many options that your future self wouldn't otherwise have, thanks to the power of compound interest. But remember that money is not the only tool you have at your disposal, and it's crucial to be intentional about where you invest your time and energy. And if this year has given us anything, it's clarity on what's actually important in life. Here are five non-financial things you should already be investing in and how to get started. Number one, your sleep hygiene. We all know we're supposed to be getting seven to nine hours of sleep as part of a balanced, healthy lifestyle, one that even helps us live longer. We know we're supposed to be putting our phones and their serotonin draining blue light away well before we shut our eyes at night. And we know it's the reason we keep being targeted by ads for those weird blue light blocking glasses. We know using technology so close to bedtime keeps us wired and unable to fall asleep promptly. We know all of that, yet we ignore the advice to put our phones away and stick to a consistent sleep schedule. In fact, 90% of Americans use a tech device before turning in for the night. Sleep hygiene refers to the environment you create for yourself at night. Having a comfortable bed, reading in bed instead of texting or playing a phone game, limiting the amount of light in your room, minimizing your caffeine intake before bed, and regularly exercising all contribute to better sleep habits. Caring about your sleep hygiene may sound trivial, even nerdy, but like all kinds of investing, the earlier you start taking it seriously, the greater the benefits it'll have. Number two, learning a new language. Being bilingual is one of the best investments anyone can make. In fact, studies show that being fluent in a second language is often tied with many benefits, including a higher earning potential and higher test scores. But even though we know how enriching knowing another language can be in both our professional and personal lives, so many of us become discouraged by how difficult it feels to start that learning journey from scratch. The thing is, it's easy to become discouraged when it takes 66 days to form a habit. But if you commit to yourself that you'll push through, getting over that first hurdle will be the hardest part. And with Lingoda, the most trusted online language school, you can start speaking a new language confidently in just three months. While free language apps definitely can be helpful for learning some basic grammar and vocabulary, Lingoda helps students understand the nuances and rhythms of natural conversation in a way that you can't really recreate on a single user app. Lingoda connects students with native teachers in very small classes, so you get your practice in by conversing with real people. Plus, their classes are available 24-7, so you can fit them into your schedule no matter how hectic your life is these days. Right now, Lingoda is offering up to 100% cash back on their Super Sprint program. If you attend 30 classes a month for three months and follow their guidelines, 100% of your deposit will be refunded to you. You can also go for the Sprint program and attend 15 classes a month for three months and get up to 50% cash back. You can choose from Spanish, French, German, English, and Business English, and classes are available at every level. Their next sprint starts on September 23rd. Click the link in our description to sign up before September 8th to secure your spot and finally commit to learning the language you've always planned to. Number three, time spent away from your desk or the couch. It's shocking how easy it is to fall into the habit of sitting for eight plus hours a day with barely any movement breaks. For those of us who work behind a desk or currently on a couch or at the kitchen table, it's something we have to proactively consider. But luckily, many studies have shown that just an hour of moderate exercise a day can counter the effects of too much sitting. Now, getting in that kind of activity can sound really intimidating, especially for those of us who don't naturally love workouts. Instead of forcing yourself to suddenly run for an hour a day and then hating yourself when you inevitably don't follow through, try scattering small amounts of activity throughout your day and pair them with tasks you already have to do anyway. Walk somewhere to pick up food or eat outside on your lunch break. Park far away from the grocery store so you inevitably have to walk more. Or catch up on the phone with a friend while, yes, walking around your neighborhood. Also, if you work from home, take advantage of no one watching and do some jumping jacks during your breaks. Divorce your thinking from the notion that exercise only counts if it's super strenuous and takes up a big chunk of your schedule. An active life simply means one with more movement in it. The most important thing is that you're moving your body on a regular basis. Number four, your platonic relationships. It's very normal to progress through adulthood and notice you haven't made a new friend since college and that you feel pretty isolated from the friends you do have, especially if you're spending all your time at home. Loneliness is actually one of the worst things for your mental and physical health, yet making and keeping friends in adulthood can feel endlessly intimidating. When you're not used to putting yourself out there, feeling lonely becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. You're lonely and want to spend quality time with someone, but you don't have anyone you feel comfortable reaching out to. And the cycle continues. Of course, solid, fulfilling relationships don't form overnight, but you can make a point to try a little harder. Invest time and energy into keeping in touch with people you've connected with beyond simply liking and commenting on Instagram posts, although that's important too. Number five, 
staying up to date on your industry. Finally, one of the best habits you can invest in in your work life is your adaptability. Just look at the last few months. None of us can totally predict when changes to our economic landscape are on the horizon. Staying up to speed on the latest technologies, research developments, communications preferences, or marketing trends in your industry is critical for long-term career growth. Because in a decade or two, your field may look entirely different than it does now. Take the hospitality industry. So much of what used to occur person to person years ago is now being done over the internet, even pre-COVID. And the people who've embraced that reality rather than resisted it have succeeded the most. Being adaptable in your professional life is key for cultivating a fulfilling career in the long run because you're not tying yourself down. Self-care shouldn't be relegated to bubble baths and mental health days. It should include taking care of every aspect of your life, from your physical health to the career opportunities you open up for your future self. You deserve to make these commitments to yourself because you're worth it. Visit the link in our description to get started with Lingoda and finally invest in learning a new language today. And use our voucher code SCHOOL98 at checkout to get $11 off your deposit.